Welcome to Electron Online, and here's some examples of how to work with the absolute value sign or absolute value symbol. Okay, what I always recommend is you have one symbol inside another that you work from the inside out, which is typically what you would do even with parentheses. So here, when you look at this, you first want to solve what's inside. The absolute value of minus eight is, of course, eight, and so you rewrite this as the absolute value sign of five minus this quantity right here, and sometimes it helps to put parentheses there, whatever you put inside here is represented by what you have over here which is the absolute value of minus 8 which is 8 and then you have the absolute value symbol for the outside there of course 5 minus 8 is minus 3 so this is equal to the absolute value of minus 3 and that of course means that is equal to 3 all right on our second example it's a little bit different again you have what you right here the absolute value symbol inside another absolute value symbol so let's solve that one first so this becomes the absolute value of minus 2 minus 4 times what's there and I'll use parentheses that will become a positive 3 like that and now you see you have minus 4 times 3 which is minus 12 so this is equal to the absolute value of minus 2 minus 12 which is equal to the absolute value oh, yep which is equal to the absolute value of minus 14 because I want to Combine those first, and then this is equal to a positive 14, because that's what we mean by the absolute value. It's only the positive value of that quantity. Right here, you want to work these out first. So the absolute value of minus 5 is 5, minus the absolute value of minus 8 is 8. And so 5 minus 8 becomes minus 3. And then finally, here's something that can really trip you up very easily. If A is a negative 3, evaluate this and express your answer in terms of A. Now, what I would recommend that you do is first substitute a minus 3 for a in this expression and then solve that and then go ahead and, re and then turn it back into something in terms of a. So if you do that, you're going to write this as the absolute value of minus 3 minus the absolute value of minus 3 times a minus 3, like that. And then you simplify that. So minus 3 times minus 3 is a positive 9. So this is equal to the absolute value of minus 3 minus the absolute value of 9. And then you can simply take the absolute value symbol away because the absolute value of a positive number is simply the positive number. So this is equal to the absolute value of minus 3 minus 9. And that's equal to the absolute value of minus 12, which is equal to 12. Now, if a is equal to negative 3, what is that in terms of a? And so you can say, well, this is equal to... Uh, 4 times or minus 4 times a since a is negative 3 negative 3 times negative 4 gives me 12 and so this one this would then become the final answer you don't need to use parentheses you can simply say this is equal to minus 4a and that is good as well all right and that's how you would do that so some nice examples of how to deal with the absolute symbol absolute value symbol or the absolute value sign however you want to call it that's how we do that